Hey YouTube, what's up? Blue Witch here. So I have a special treat for you guys tonight. I will be doing tonight's casting with Lucifage. Um, I'm going to be doing a Come to Me Love spell. Um, oh, I forgot my candle. Hang on, I'll be right back. I gotta grab my candle. You have forgot that. It's like a very important part. Let's see. I'm going to start out with this one. Okay, so I'm going to start out with an orange one. As you can see. I'm going to start out with an orange one. I'm doing it different. I always, I know, they're never the same. They're always different. I love to mix it up and change it until I find that perfect spell, you know, for the, I don't know, it's always different for every person. But this sweet girl would like to have a new love brought to her, brought into her life. Um, the perfect man for her and um, so we are going to do that um, anyways so this spell is a little different because I'm going to be working with this bitch and it took some convincing um, to get him to go along with this. Um, but I think we finally have an understanding. And so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, I did have to get permission to work. I didn't have to, but, you know, it's always good to do that. Um, so... For Lucifer, I'm going to be drawing his sigil on here. I'll just do that really quickly. I already have it right here on my, on, it's on my tray already with his name and his sigil. And he's been talking to me most of the night um, about this. And he's a He's a lot, he first, he came first a lot like Lucifer did. And, um, yeah, it's all good. Anyways, let me draw his sigil and then I'll show it to you, okay? And I want to do it right as best as I can because it's important. Rich. Okay, and then this part goes kind of like that. Oh, and I'll write his name on it just so just for you guys, I don't have to write his name on his sigil because obviously he knows what a sigil is. But I'm going to write it just in case you guys want to look it up or anything like that. Okay. So it looks like this, and that's his name, I hope you guys can see it okay, Ambition. and so when working with Lucifer, it's important to have offerings for him, and I don't know enough about him to know like what he likes and doesn't like, and so the best thing to offer at that point will be my blood. And 
don't want to hear any bullshit about you didn't draw any blood or any stupid crap like that. You guys, please keep negativity to yourself about this stuff. Um, you don't want to attract any kind of negative, you know, bad things to yourself, honey. So, you know, just keep that kind of thoughts to yourself. All right. Going to put a drop on each of his points. holds the keys to all the, I don't know how to say it, to all the things that the earthly treasures, like sex and money and whatever, whatever you could want in this realm on earth, he can, he can get it for you. He can help you get it. So that is why I've chosen him for this spell. Now then, I have some some clay here. Oh, before I start with that, I have my client's picture here, which you can't see because his sigil is on it, with her name and stuff, which you can't see because the cauldron's in the way. <laughs> um, so we're good on that. I'm going to go ahead and cut out another piece of paper because he does not want me writing petition over his sigil. So we're not going to be doing that. So, I have petition paper here, and I'm going to write her name on here a few times, and then I'm going to write, I call you forth, I call you forth, I call forth, you know, her twin flame, her, I'll give them whatever names they have out there for him, um, her soulmate, her twin flame, her true love, all these things, okay? So, I'm going to write her name first. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it clockwise and I'm going to write what I want. Call forth her true love. I call forth. Call forth her soulmate. And now at the bottom, I'm going to write, I call for husband. So basically, I just built a box around her. And this is how this bitch told me to do this spell. Okay, 
So it's got words in every direction. Okay. Now I am to roll this up. Wait, I gotta put some. I want to put some of the road opening herbs. Put some on here. And I'm gonna put some in here. Okay, and now I have love herbs. to put it inside of the clay and we're going to build a little a little man out of the clay yes we are why wouldn't we administration, administration. some arms, some legs, these good things. So now I'm going to put him on this paper. Well, I don't want you guys to see that. I'm going to get another paper out for him. Man, you're just chatting it up. Okay, so I'm going to put him on here, but before I do, I want to write the things that she wants from him. She wants him to be wealthy. She wants him to be handsome. She wants him to be tall. She wants him to be handsome, rich, tall to come to her love um marriage and she wants marriage okay so we have another box as you can see it's going all around him 
And I'm putting him in the box like so. And then I'm putting him over the top. So I have Lucifer's um, sigil and and offerings over her face. And then I have um, her man over here over all of her information, okay? And now we're going to do her candle. I'm telling them to bring forth true love. Bring forth her, and I'm putting her name, husband. Bring forth true love, happiness, love, wealth, and then I'm putting my heart. Okay. Love it. Gorgeous. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set this right here. I'm gonna put it right there. Oh my goodness. So messy. I'm putting love on one side and open road on the other. all these crystals on here. It always amazes me how the crystals don't like catch fire and do all that stuff, you know. Yes, I love it. All over that. Okay. So going to use my little purple wax here to hold this. Mm. 
bit. Stripping, I'll be bringing, getting this softened up. Now you guys, I realize that you probably really want to see this, what this looks like, but I really can't show you. Her information is all over it, and I just can't, I can't show you. But I can light it, maybe, and get some of this out of the way and let you see, like, it from that angle that I cannot, um, I can't pick it up and show you. Well, for one, I don't want to knock the candle over. And for two, her personal information is written all over everything. And so I can't, like, show you. Um, so Lucifage is over her photograph here and then on this side I have her husband and um, it, her information is underneath of that with herbs and crystals covered it um, and you know her name is right up, I mean it's just all her personal information and this is for JN by the way and I hope that you, honestly, I hope you can't see that. Um, anyways, so that's it for this one. Um, and um, I realize that this is my my first time working with Lucifitch. And um, for those of you who don't know who he is, please... Um, feel free to do some research on him and, you know, be, I am happy to learn with you and grow with you and show you to not, that you don't have to, um, have fear, um, to work with these guys. Um, you know, of course I asked Hecate if it would be okay, I asked Lucifer and Belial, of course, I don't have to ask them, but it's smart to ask them. <laughs> so, because they're the ones that I'm going to be calling if anything was to go down, you know. But Lucifage is, you know, kind of, I don't know, there's a bunch of different stories about him. Some people say that he's Lucifer's twin. Some people say that he is Lucifer's right hand. Um, some people, you know, he has a lots of different aspects to him as well. Um, they say that he holds the keys to earthly pleasures and earthly treasures and earthly things. Um, he also records... Um, all the castings and things that Hecate's children do. Um, what else have I learned about him? Um, he's very, when he talks to you, he's very, he has, he's really calm but stern at the same time. Where Lucifer is not really calm, he's just kind of high energy, and Lucifer is not high energy. Um, I mean, he's a higher vibration, but he's not like, when he talks to you, he's like, just calm. He's, he has a very stern voice, but not like, I don't know, maybe he'll come on here and you could hear him. But, um, anyways, he's, 
I'll let you guys know how it goes. You'll learn through me. That's okay. I'm, I'm cool with that. But so I got out the keys because he holds the keys to a lot of things. And so I'm going to be using Hecate's keys um, as symbolic to Lucifer whenever I work with him. Um, I will be pulling these keys out and asking him to use his key to finding my client, her man, and to bringing, opening the doorway and opening the path to bring him to her. Um, and he has that key. He can do that. Um, so can, so can other, others. Um, but I'm working with Lucifer on this one. And that was my choice as a practitioner. Um, Hegate allows me to do different things with different gods and spirits and whatever. And so um, I'm excited about that. I'm excited to build relationships with, you know, whoever I get to work with. Whoever comes forth. Um, to work with me as I learn and grow and it's just a beautiful thing and I just love that I am allowed and get to share it with you guys. Okay, and I'll put Valerie on. Um, anyways, so my first spell with Lisa Finch. There you have it. I'm going to be doing a couple others. I don't know if I'll be working with him on those or not. I don't know if I'll be working with him on the others or not. This is just to start out with for the night. And that's it. So I'll see you guys in a few. I got a, I got a court case I'm going to do. And I think with the court case, of course, I will be working with Delilah on that one. Um, and so, yeah. All right. Peace out.